John chapter 3, verse 7 says this, you must be born again. The Anglican clergyman George Whitfield was as much responsible for the transformation of England and the Great Awakening in, in America as John and Charles Wesley. In fact, in a letter to Benjamin Franklin, who delighted in coming to hear Whitfield speak, he said, as I find you growing more and more famous in the learned world, I would recommend to your diligent and unprejudiced study the mystery of the new birth. It is a most important study, and when mastered, will richly answer all your plans. So I bid you, my friend, remember that one at whose bar we shall both presently appear hath solemnly declared that without it we shall in no wise see his kingdom. That was a very wise recommendation to a man who was noted in the history of the world as being very wise. In fact, Jesus said to us all, you must be born again. And there's never been a person who earnestly sought the new birth and didn't find it. Even our seeking is created, the Bible tells us in John 6, 44, by the Spirit of God. So are you tired of the emptiness and purposelessness of your life? Are you tired of the filthy rags of your own righteousness? Are you willing to trust someone other than yourself? And then look into Christ. Uh, look to him. Place your trust in him and ask him to come in and, and save you so that you might be born again today. You can be born once and die twice. But if you're born twice, you will only die once. Jesus said, he who believes in the Son has everlasting life. And he who does not believe in the Son shall not see life. I urge you today to call on him. The Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. I'm Ray Jones, and that's another heart truth for your day.